Welcome to Richmond TV's Community Focus. I'm your host, Jason Robbins, and joining me today is Jill Alvin, Director of the Richmond Area Chamber of Commerce, to talk about the 2017 Richmond Winter Festival. Hi, Jill. How are you doing today? Hi, really good. Thank, thank you. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, so, what is the Winter Festival? Well, the Winter Festival is an event that's put on by the Richmond Area Chamber of Commerce, and it's to celebrate the town of Richmond. Um, this is the 16th year that the event has been put on, and we hope to bring people to town to have fun and see what Richmond has to offer. Oh, what is, when is the Winter Festival this year? The Winter Festival for this year is going to be Friday, February 3rd through Sunday, February 5th. Okay, so it's typically in the first weekend of February, correct? Right, we've been trying to hold it in the first weekend. Okay, uh, what events are taking place on that Friday? Well, we're going to be starting the weekend off on Friday with a spaghetti dinner fundraiser. Um, it's going to be to help the Richmond Education Foundation, mm -hmm. and it's going to be held at the Richmond High School cafeteria from 6.30 until 8. And we're going to have a 50-50 raffle. Uh, we have a lot of uh, raffle prizes that have been donated by local businesses, mm -hmm. and uh, Richmond Community Schools is sponsoring the location. What's kind of neat about it is if you go to the dinner, then mm -hmm. at about 8.10, uh, we're going to have a fireworks display, so you can just come out of the cafeteria, walk over to the you know, bleachers, and, and have a seat for the fireworks. Now, that's, that, that's really nice. Now, what, um, now, who is putting together the fireworks show? Richmond's own Pyro Joe's is sponsoring um, the fireworks show for us for the second year for our winter fest and we're very appreciative of that. And that's that's going to be in the high school baseball diamond like yes. it is for the homecoming game? Yes. Okay, very nice. They always put on a great show. Uh, I hear there will be a drive-in theater event. How are people going to stay warm if they are outside during the movie with their cars off? <laughs> we did that on purpose. We thought it was kind of <laughs> catchy. Um, actually, it's it's for kids. It's going to be held in the cafeteria at the Willie Lee Elementary School, and it's going to be on um, Saturday. And at three o'clock, they can come in and decorate their box cars, mm -hmm. bring a blanket or a pillow to sit on, and then uh, we'll be showing Zootopia, and that will okay. be starting at four. All right. Um, where where is the tricky? Uh, chili Cook-Off going to be located? Well, the, the ch Chili Cook-Off is going to be at the Odd. Okay. Um, it's going to be from 11 to 1.30 again this year. And uh, we have decided to help spice it up again with not only awards, but we have um, a popular vote and we have a panel of judges okay. um, who are going to judge the various chilies. So there's cash awards, medals, and plaques. And mm -hmm. so the application, the rules, they're on the Chamber website. And we're hoping we get plenty of people cooking chili for that event. Now, are there already people registered for that? Um, there are a couple people, but they're they're looking for people to cook. So if you think you got a really good chili recipe, that's a good opportunity. Uh, unfortunately, I don't. But I <laughs> hear I hear that uh, Rich, there's been a rivalry between uh, Richmond DPW, Lois Wagner Memorial Library going on. Um, that started probably with the Scarecrow contest. <laughs> um, I know that the lions and the moose mm -hmm. always have a little bit of a rivalry going. We're trying to get some of the, um, one year we had some of the local fire departments, you know, mm -hmm. um, trying to participate against the Richmond Fire Department. We're hoping that they'll come back this year and consider, because we changed the mm -hmm. format a little bit. Yeah, because so. I know it's such a huge event for the Winter Festival. Every year that's been the consistent event that's happened. Right, and, and uh, Margo over Parks and Rec said she puts a lot of, of effort into into that event, so we just kind of helped to spice it up a little because it is a chili cook off. So. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, what are, uh, so, will anything be going on at the Historic Village? Um, actually, yes, on, on uh, Saturday they're going to offer horse-drawn sleigh rides with their refurbished sleigh that they're so proud of. Um, that's going to be happening on, on Sunday between 1 and 4. And they're also going to be tour, doing tours of their historic village. And of course, you got to have you know cookies and cocoa. Of course, so. of course. Yeah. Um, is, the, is there going to be a theme for the ice sculptures? Um, our theme for our winter festival this year is winter safari. Okay. So we're hoping to get a lot of like cold weather animals out there. Um, but we do give businesses an opportunity. So if they want something different with like their logo or something that represents their restaurant, there's going to be a few of those around too. Now, is it just going to be where uh, like up in front of Pyro Droves again, or are they going to be scattered throughout no, town? No, they're going to be they're going to be spread out through town. So people, hopefully, the weather will cooperate and we'll have people have an opportunity to to walk or you know to take the smart bus. 
Yeah, uh, hopefully that weather uh, weather cooperates because it's just way too warm for winter festival right now. Plymouth had it right back in December when it was zero degrees. Out. <laughs> well, yeah, I, Mother Nature and I don't always get along, so we're hoping for the you know hoping for the best. <laughs> for sure, and the only time that we complain about temperatures being too warm during yes. the winter. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, who is uh, sponsoring the winter festival this year? Um, we've, oh, I've, got, I've got a huge list of sponsors. We have three main sponsors for the Winterfest. We have McLaren McComb, um, Ball Equipment, and Woodward Chili. Okay. Uh, I've got Semco, um, Dr. Julie Chikaraki, First State Bank, Senior Helpers, Laser Market, North Star Bank, Shepherd Sales and Service. Do you want me to keep going? <laughs> keep <laughs> on going. Waste Management, uh, Signature Home Styles, Meyer. Um, American Energy, the Lions Club, Richmond Lions Club, uh, Tropical Smoothie Cafe, Insurance Shoppers Agency. Um, those are our sponsors so far. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, as far as ice, you know, TIFA, the city of Richmond's TIFA, uh, has been a major ice sculpture sponsor for us this year. And, um, you know, we just have a lot of people that have donated you know, items for our raffles at the dinner, the fundraiser, mm -hmm. and everything. So we will put them as, as we get that filled in a little bit more, we're putting them up on the website so that everybody can see. But. Oh, one other question that I meant to ask was, um, is there going to be any kind of bus system going around town that day so that people can get from event to event? Yes, the Richmond Lennox EMS is going to be providing transportation again for us on Saturday and Sunday um, with their smart buses and we thank them very much for that. Very good. Now is there anything else you'd like to add? Oh my gosh, is there anything else to <laughs> um, Just uh, to, to fill in a little bit, um, another event that's going on Friday mm -hmm. um, is going to be a, a magic show and it's going to be held at Maniachi's. Okay. Um, they're going to have a dinner there at 6 and the show will be at 7. But on Saturday, we uh, we have a lot a lot of different things. We, what we did this year is we separated, we used to have just a family fun event, so we've mm -hmm. divided it up a little bit to cover both days. So besides um, the chili cook-off, um, Ball Equipment is, is hosting Big Don's Balloons and Double Dare Airbrush Tattoos at their location. And that will be on Saturday from 10 until noon. Um, Horse-drawn wagon rides and black pot bean soup <laughs> with the St. Clair County Farm Museum is going to be um, over where Laser Market is on Water Street. And that will be from 11 until 3. Um, we have arts and scraps and an exotic zoo live animal presentation in keeping with our winter safari theme. Mm -hmm. um, that's going to be on Sunday at Willie Lee Elementary at the cafeteria between 2 and 4. Um, Ted Pavlik is back again this year with the, <laughs> with the Melody Makers and they're going to be at the KFC Hall on Sunday from 2 to 6. Um, Strikers is doing a, a bowling with a splash and they're going to offer bowling food and prizes on Sunday as well. And then people can call strikers for more information on that. But just in general, we're just really, you know, so so thankful for everyone that's been involved in this event this year. And um, we're encouraging our stores in town to um, do something of their choice on Saturday, you know, to bring families mm -hmm. into their establishments. And um, for instance, like Senior Helpers is going to host one of our other members in there, and she's going to have a warning station, so they can do anything, you know, anything that they want. But, mm -hmm. We really would like to have people come and have fun all weekend and, and enjoy some of the various events that are going to be planned. Sounds, it sounds like it's going to be great. It sounds like it's getting bigger and bigger each year, too. Well, we're trying. This, this is where I kind of wanted it to be a couple of years ago by having you mm -hmm. know, a, lot of, a lot of different events going on so that people have a, big, a choice, a different mm -hmm. choice as to what they want. And so I'm real, real happy with, with the work that's gone into it this year. Very good. Thank you, Jill, for joining us today. Hello. And uh, the Richmond Winter, uh, Winter, Fe uh, Winter Festival will be all around Richmond on February 3rd through the 5th. For more information, you can go to www.richmondcoc.org. You can view all of Richmond TV's programming on our YouTube channel, Richmond TV 12. You can also view us on Comcast Channel 12 Sundays at 7 p.m., Tuesdays at 8 p.m., Fridays at 5 p.m. and 9 p.m., and Saturdays at 5 p.m. I've been your host, Jason Robbins, and have a great day.